guideline and then draw the mouth below it refine the features add more details to the eyes nose and mouth pay attention to the proportions and angles suggested by the Loomis method add ears and neck position the ears roughly between the eyes and the bottom of the nose draw the neck connecting it to the jawline refine the head refine the shape of the head making sure it looks natural and three-dimensional. Drawing the figure using the Loomis method. Start with the beam shape. Draw a beam shape to represent the torso and pelvic area. This establishes the overall pose and balance of the figure. Add proportional guidelines. Add a line halfway down the beam for the waist and another to represent the shoulders. Draw limbs as cylinders. Extend lines from the shoulders and waist to represent the upper and lower limbs. Break down each limb into cylindrical shapes. Refine the limbs. Add joints and shape the limbs, keeping in mind the natural bend and flow of the body. Add features. Add the head on top of the torso and refine the facial features using the Loomis method. Refine and add details. Refine the overall shape of the figure, adding muscles, clothing, and other details. Remember to practice regularly and study anatomy to enhance your understanding of the human form. The Loomis method is a helpful starting point, and as you gain confidence, you can adapt and modify it to suit your style.
That's it my friends, I believe that the essential is done, the basis is the perfect drawing of the portrait, for the question of shadows and lights it remains a question of time and patience for the details.